Let's drive this bad boy that only goes forward. And back left. Time to defend the world against crime by by driving forward and back left. Oh! That really uh, limits your uh, your range there. So if you're a stunt driver, good luck driving this bad boy. of the Viper TV show. And you'll never believe what I got, guys. I'm gonna turn around and show you. So, I got this. This is the uh, the Tyco uh, Viper RC car, and this is the uh, Defender form. This is the form it takes after it morphs from an RT-10 into this uh, crime-fighting, uh, super awesome uh, Mopar machine. Now, uh, for the longest time I've been looking for this, and uh, it's just hard buying this because a lot of sellers are not very, not very nice. Um, I've seen some of the uh, prices of this uh, RC car, and it goes as far as three hundred, four hundred dollars. Um, I saw yeah one guy from Germany selling it for that much, and um, and then I saw I saw another guy selling this um, you know state like stateside, and he was selling it for like at first he had it for like one hundred nineteen. Then he upped it to like 120, then he upped it to 189, then like 220. It's like, why are you making the price higher? So it's just hard uh, buying this because people take advantage of the fact that it's so hard to get now. Um, anyways, uh, fast forward to the present time, and I got this one. I got this one, not really cheap, but cheaper compared to what those guys were selling it for. And um, I got the impression that this guy was um, pretty young. And he just wanted to sell some stuff off. Anyways, this is a brand new. Uh, well, brand new as in it's never been opened. So uh, I did cut the tape off already. But I'm going to unbox it for you guys. And take some measurements. Uh, drive it around. Um, actually, by the time you're watching this part, I've already shown the driving footage. But anyways, we're going to focus on the box now. So, again, this is made by Tyco. And... Hold on, gonna have to use this to hold my microphone up. Sorry guys. <laughs> Wait, here we go. All right, no, sorry guys. There we go, sorry about that. Okay, so let's uh, take this apart. You can't see that, this is my little pony, do you? <laughs> All right, so anyways, my girlfriend likes my little pony. Yes. Yeah. Yes, she does. So um, I already took the tape off. And let's see what the uh, the fuss is all about. Hold on. Why is that the tape off? Why is, it, why is it so hard to open still? Look at that, guys. For all of you who have never seen this before, prepare to salivate. Salivate like there's no tomorrow. Salivate like they're canceling Viper. Wait, you wouldn't salivate for that. You would be really depressed. All right. Ooh. Look inside. Let's take out the insides first before I get into the car. I don't want to spoil you guys. Sorry. All right, so this is pretty cool. I think this would be a cool collector collector's item. Maybe I'll, I'll frame this in the future. Tyco RC, uh, Viper Instructions. So this isn't really the Viper, even though it's the name of the TV show. I think they referred to this car, well, they did refer to this car as a Defender. Now, um. If you look right here, this really awesome RC car, awesome quote unquote, goes forward and back left. So I don't know why people jack the price up. It's just for fans of the TV show. So people do take advantage of fans of the TV show. Oh, before I start this, I want to say right now, this is a future project. I'm going to get this thing hobby graded um, because it, it, it just can't move the way it should be moving. All right. So here it is. Let's take the remote out first. So it's 49 megahertz frequency. It's stuck on the spoiler of the Defender. 
Oh, okay, I gotta take this one off. The styrofoam piece. Hold on. Oh, no, it just flew out. <laughs> Look at that antenna guy, just wobbly. Did that show up on film? Okay. <laughs> now, if you'll notice, this thing is really tiny. This uh, remote control, it's got one stick. Up and down. So, I'm assuming up makes it go forward and back makes it go back left. There's nothing here. I don't know whose idea it was to make an RC car that goes only forward and back left because if you guys have ever seen a car, cars can go left, right, forward, backwards, reverse, back left, back right. I mean, would it have been that hard just to make it like any other RC car? It's the 90s, guys. 90s cars could, could do more than that. All right, so there's an on and off switch button here. Nine volt goes in there. Okay. Oh, and this is why I bought this, guys. Did not buy it for the remote, so we're gonna take this out of the uh, styrofoam. It's not taped, it's just slides in and out. Oh, look at this inside the styrofoam. Can you see it? It says Viper right here. Does it show up? Mm -hmm. That's neat. So pristine condition, guys. It, it is, as I said, it's never been opened. All right, now I was a little worried because the box was, was really light, but this uh, this body actually seems pretty robust, and it's probably a one eighteenth scale here. And um, if you guys know the history of how they made this car, they basically used a uh, Dodge Viper or a Chrysler Viper RT10 on a stretched chassis, and then they uh, they fitted this really awesome uh, body onto it without the uh, side mirrors. There's no side mirrors on this car for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, these wheels, these are Viper RT10 wheels. And uh, so uh, let me take some measurements here. But yeah, it's it's probably 118 scale. So let me measure for you guys. So from uh, rear to front, it's roughly uh, 10 inches, roughly 10 inches. Uh, the wheelbase, not like this matters because I'm gonna change this. Wheelbase is slightly under seven inches. The width of this car, Sorry. Let's measure at the narrowest point because I plan to fit a, a hobby graded chassis on, on this thing. Though at the narrowest point, it's about. Man, hold on. I'm having trouble reading that. It's about. It's almost for. Maybe 4.25 inches or something like that. It's hard to tell. That, that's just a rough reading. It, the point is, it, it's a small car. Very small. I wish they made this in one tenth scale. Um, wait, it's already on for whatever reason. You know what? What's what's to drive it right out of the box, guys? Because that's gonna be the awesome thing. So to open this uh, battery door, you push down here, and it opens up. It takes four AA batteries, and guess what? I got four used AA batteries, and I got a nine volt. Hold on. I want to test this bad boy out. See how bad. Again, these batteries are used, so it's not going to be going as fast as it should be, but I don't care about the speed. Again, I really just bought this for the body. I might be able to use the wheels. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, locked into place. Let me turn this on. Typically, you turn on the remote first. Where did I throw my remote? Oh, here it is. Okay. Let me test this out. I didn't do that. Why is it doing that? So again, it's, it's that's forward. That's the up stick. So again, it goes forward and then back left. That's really lame. Anyways, I didn't buy it for the, uh, for the uh, speed or range of range. I got it for the body. So, um, I'm gonna take this body off the chassis so I can uh, check it out. See only uh, four screws holding in place. No, wait, wait, maybe four, maybe six. I don't know if those go into the uh, chassis or not. So let's take it out. But I might just get rid of all this crap altogether because you can really uh, wreck your gear using hobby grade equipment with this, you know, using plastic gears and whatnot. So. I don't know how I'm gonna do that and still keep the uh, the wheels. That that's gonna be a problem.
for whenever I get there. Um, so right now I'm taking this off here. There go, shoot. That's one. Where's my other one? There it is. That's the front. Let's take off the back now. Wait, I might not need to, yeah. So yeah, my goal is to watch uh, seasons two through four of Viper because back when I was watching this TV show, I, I fell off of it because I, I didn't keep, I wasn't able to keep track of TV shows back in the 90s. Only, the only show that I kept track of were the Saturday morning cartoons because, you know, they're, they're Saturday morning. For Viper, I, I just couldn't keep track of it after season one. I didn't even know they were bringing it back. It didn't seem like they were going to bring it back. And that was kind of a, kind of a dark time for me. The uh, mid '90s. Um, anyways, the thing's almost off. I'm excited. Let's find out what it looks like. Okay, that, that wasn't. Got a little bit more wit to go on this thing. All right, why is it still on here? <laughs> I thought I had it pretty loose. Oh wait, there's another screw right here. Right here in the middle. There we go. That's the big one in the center. All right, something's holding this in place. Oh, it must be these two screws now. Ah, so annoying. I don't even know if I should have unscrewed the other ones, but I, they don't seem to be holding it in place. We'll find out in a second. Like the two ones in the back, I don't know. These go up here. Nope, those weren't holding anything. So, uh, this banner right here is holding the antenna in place. Let me tighten these back up. I don't want to... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, these were not holding in place. These ones in the back. Get back in there. Screw. Stop screwing around. How much time is left on the video? Seven. Good. Great. Now the thing's... All right. <laughs> Well, screw it. Anyways, <laughs> here is what the uh, the chassis looks like. It looks really uh, basic. It looks really bad. Bad and basic. Now, the only reason why I would like this chassis is for the wheels. Like, we gotta figure out how to keep these wheels. Um, I would love to use this one right here. This is from a JRL Dodge Viper, but it's too big. This is like one uh, 14 scale. Whereas this one's like 118 scale, so this would never fit. But this one has the proper wheels too. I, I just, I, I want to figure out what to do with this in the future. But that's that's for another video. So uh, body is very sturdy. Um, very very detailed too. And I've always wondered about how well the driver can see out the back of this. It doesn't seem like it's practical, but for for entertainment purposes, it looks awesome and makes it look really unique. So that's what the bottom looks like. I thought about maybe 3D printing this, maybe, but it just won't look as good because when you replicate this, uh, the window, it's, it's gonna look really bad. It'll just look like paint. But this one, it appears to be, well, it's, you can't really see through it. It's just, but at least it's a different uh, material. It looks like if you're in the inside, you can see out of it. So, uh. That is that. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a future uh, project. Um, I, I want to get this thing at the level where it could do jumps and uh, do uh, do donuts. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I've got so many ideas for this. I want to get more more bodies though because I have ideas. Leave your comments in the section in the comment section. And tell me if you got this too. How much did you spend on this RC car? Because I, I, I spent like 90, 90 or 100. I got a good deal. Um, there's a lot of bad deals online though from people who don't even watch the TV show. They just want to take advantage of people. They want to take advantage of the fans, guys. But it, it is there so they can do what they want, but it, it just really, it's really upsetting. Because these things are really hard to find. I would buy this used in a heartbeat if I saw it used.